What is up guys, Harry here, and today we're talking about kind of an issue, but non-issue today. Um, and the issue is, it's about 18 games. Now, obviously, I don't know a single person that actually follows the age rating of games, because if you think about it, like, I think the same people who, because I think, see there's people who, um, like, do the movies, like, the, one, the ones where they put, like, it's either... Uh, Universal, a PG, 12, 15, or 18. They used to do it on games as well, but they've stopped doing it now, and they've passed on to Peggy, which is another game rating company. And they rate on a scale of 3, 7, 12, uh, 16, and then 18. Now, oops, sorry, the camera's gone a bit funny. Um, I don't know a single person who actually follows the age rating scheme, because... People like my brother who've been playing like stuff like GTA since they were about 13, 14. Um, he would have, because my brother just turned 18 now, he would have only been playing, yeah, he would only just start playing GTA and Call of Duty, which is, like, if you think about it, that's just madness. But teachers, teachers in schools and that in the UK have started to realise that like, children are kind of, um, like, I don't know, copy what they do in games. And they're thinking that's a bad thing, so they're t trying to ban 18 games or overrated games for children. But what I'm trying to say is, why why the um, parents, they don't tell the parents, they try and sort it out themselves. So it's kind of like, it's not the teacher's deal, it's the parents. So if the teachers want to ban it, they'd have to discuss it with the parents and then kind of, you know, ban it all together. And, like... I don't, I don't want this to come because it's not in the area that I live in. It's in a different part of, um, like, Britain and, and Wales and stuff. But, um, like, if it comes to us, because I've got so many, I've got so many different games. I've got, let me give me a list. Uh, Watch Dogs, um, Call of Duty, uh, Payday, and what other games have I got? And Assassin's Creed, stuff like that. Oh, sorry. <coughs> uh, I've got other games like that, and I've got a few like downloaded ones on my Xbox. But like, I don't because I've I've enjoyed those games so much, and I, look, I like playing them. So I don't particularly want to get banned from them. But then again, it's not the teachers; it's the parents. So hopefully, it it won't happen around you know my like area in Liverpool and stuff. But like, yeah, I just. I like, like, what I'm trying to get across is it's the parents that control what the children are doing, um, like, playing on games, so, like, I'm scared that, like, I don't want any of my games taken away from me, and I know I'm kind of repeating stuff over and over again, but, it's like, if you think about it, think about how many children actually follow the age rating scheme, and you'd say about 25% do, and then the other 75% don't. So, so, I'm talking about this because I'd say get you guys thinking as well. To so if it ever comes around you guys areas, like um, like area of school and that, it won't, like it won't affect you because you'll have a good excuse for why. So I'm kind of giving you um, a few like examples of why this is wrong. So yeah, guys, if you did like this video, don't forget to smash that like button to pieces. And I will see you in the next video.